Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Republic Day to all the citizens of India and Australia. Today we are going to discuss about attribute based access control in PEGA. So let's get started with the topic. Access control mechanism is one of the feature that we have in PEGA. Normally when we are having an application, we are having something called as authorization where only few people can view respective data. So in that manner, we have two things called as RBAC and ABAC. One is role based access control and another is attribute based access control. Now this video is about ABAC attribute access control. Normally we are having an operator access group portal and application all these rules are involved then that comes under RBAC. Suppose to have more granular control on your application on for security perspective then we go for ABAC which is attribute based access control. Suppose if you are, want to show cases of uh, respective class to all the users then you go for RBAC and now if you want to add few properties or to restrict few more uh, changes to the respective case then we go for ABAC. For implementing attribute access control we will be having two rules which are very important one is access control policy and another thing is access control policy condition. So what are the different actions that we have while we are configuring access control policy. So access control policy is having six conditions one is read, update, delete, discover, property read and property encrypt. Suppose if you want a user can open a case that meets the policy conditions. The policy condition is nothing but access control policy condition. So when this access control policy condition is true then if you want users to view the reports or users can search something then uh, we go with read action. Suppose when this policy condition is true and a user want to update the case like you want to give a feature to update a case to the user then you will go for update and you want to give delete feature to the case then you go for delete but on if you want to see limited information uh, about the case then that is discovered and you want to give a uh, restricted visibility to the property values with read and update access then you go for property read and suppose you want to uh, encrypt all the values uh, that are there in database clipboard logs and such indexes then if there are no property read uh, for the respective property then you go for property encrypt and uh, this decrypted value is visible to users also in the UI control and all these actions are invoked only when your policy control condition is true and this is decrypt pw function which is available to view these encrypted values there are some exceptions like on how this particular access control uh, policies or attribute based access control can be defined. This can be defined only on the instance of SN dash, data dash, and work dash. And suppose if an access control policy is defined on data dash, they are not enforced in your search queries. And only read policies are enforced in your custom SQL. What are the prerequisites you want for this attribute access control? One is PZ can manage security policies privilege. This should be there uh, to configure this. And another thing is you have to check in your code implementing uh, for testing this attribute based access control. So let's see how we can implement this in Pega. So I have taken a case where we will be giving some info and we have some approval or reject where we will be routing to another user. So these are the two fields that I have so enrollment ID and identity ID. Now when user gives some value and click on create we would be seeing those values over here. So now I'm going to records security access control policy so under access control policy when i click create i can see this window now i'm saying to mask the identity and as i've discussed there are six type of action i can see the different actions over here read update discover delete property read and property encrypt in this video i'm going with property read and here applies to class you have to give proper class name where this property is present and see this is the target class this is the action and this is like applies to list of properties only now here i can give a condition so this is nothing but that is access control policy condition 
this is access control policy and this is policy condition access control policy condition that you have to create and give over here now here i'm giving a mask Here I am giving one window like only this aspect a user can view that. So I am giving as is user. You can see an access one condition would be created. So I am restricting this with an operator ID access group. So our operator ID page is this. What is the access group of this operator ID? That is nothing but PV access group. And this is the value, this is a version of what. I'm going here. I'm permitted to move if access is A. And this is condition B. So why I am having here I am giving PX create operator is not now another condition. So here uh, when this particular condition logic returns true then only you can uh, see this mask value uh, if it is false then it's not uh, visible to the user now i'm saving this i'm going a step back and here now i have to select which property i'm creating this and here you can see restriction mode full mask just click on the settings icon uh suppose if you want full mask then all the characters would be displayed with a star then you can give this otherwise if you want to denote some other masking character you can give that as well and this is restriction mode like full mask mask call bus last 10 suppose you are having a b c d e and last last four characters you want to hide then you can give like number of uh, unmasked characters like uh, one two two you have want to unmask and remaining should be mask means you have to give mask character and if you want like mask all but first n like only the first characters you want to mask then you have to go with this generally you would be seeing this uh, thing while you receive an sms or otp uh, stating that uh, your number star 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 and last four digits uh, so in that way you would be defining that particular thing now i'm giving mask call but last n now i'm giving three display length is free or display length matches value suppose uh, you want to display only five characters uh, even though it is having ten and uh, if you want uh, based on the value then you can give this click submit click save in this way you will configure access control policy let's uh, test this and even create enrollment id some value identity id now i have given this and click create see now i can see entire value this particular is routed uh, for some acceptance reject scenario now we will be logging in with some other operator id whose 
access group is not reservation uh, colon authors so now i have taken an operator called as approver at the rate equality.com and this particular operator id is having this access group which is different from the operator that we have created the case now after i have logged in i can see this c7003 is available here just click on the case and you can see enrollment id is masked this is how you protect data with attribute based access control with the help of uh, this masking we have did this mask call but last and so i have given this and suppose you want to change this mask call but first n again you have to check in the code change restriction mode now again i have come over here and i am just click on refresh see first three characters are visible and other characters are masked so in this way you play around with different attribute access control policies try from your end and uh, do comment your thoughts on this thanks for watching this video please follow the steps subscribe share like and comment